Battlefield Hardline introduces golden camos for weapons and vehicles, and is Alien Isolation truly the pants pooper it's trying to be? All of this and more today on Debrief. Battlefield Hardline will feature golden camos that you will be able to apply to your favorite weapons. Golden is not your thing, you say? Well, don't you worry, guy. The dev team made sure to also include silver and bronze camos. What's that, Billy? Still not good enough? How about we slap that sexy gold onto a cop car? Now we're talking. You will also be able to store special weapons like SMAs and RPGs into the back of your car, as well as equipping NAS. You know, that colorful, gassy-looking thing that sparks out of your exhaust pipes and turns your car into a fighter jet on wheels. Oh, also, did I mention gold cop cars? The radios inside the cars will actually work and they will feature unique soundtracks. Now having hands-on at EGX, I can very much confirm that these tracks add a lot to the gameplay and are actually good. Banging tunes confirmed. Visceral also made changes to the map we were all able to play during the first beta of Battlefield Hardline, named High Tension. Changes such as adding new routes to the parking lot, amongst other things. Not only did the map get a facelift, but also did the character models. No more skinny jeans looking criminals with the derpy animations, but high detailed character models instead. A wise choice of Visceral, after all, I can imagine all that running around and vaulting being quite challenging in skinny jeans. Fashionable, but challenging. Now, unfortunately, this might also mean the disappearance of Captain T-Rex, although that hasn't been confirmed just yet by the good people over at Visceral. Now, most of this info was gathered during Floppy Ragdoll's stream at the EB Expo in Sydney. Hey, look, it's Floppy! Anyways, what can we pull from this story, folks? Well, Battlefield Hardline, although getting a bad rep from all sorts of angry gamers, is looking to be very promising. All that nonsense about it being a $60 DLC for Battlefield 4 is quite ridiculous, to be honest. Visceral are showing us something totally new and unique with their new title, and looking at all the changes that they have been implementing after the beta really shows that these guys are committed to listen to the community and care to bring a solid, finished product. But the internet wouldn't be the internet if it wasn't trying to compare a game to another game that accused it to be a glorified DLC to the previous installment of that said game. Officer Dolce, over and out. Now on to the next story, Alien Isolation, the new horror survival game from Creative Assembly. The reviews have been coming in and they seem to be all over the place so far. It seems to be either scoring extremely well with some reviewers giving it a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10, and then you have the people like IGN giving it a 5.9 out of 10, saying, I don't think this is Call of Duty, and we can't wait for the next Call of Duty. Now, I've had my fair share of hands-on with the game by now, having played the survivor mode quite a bit, and I can tell you that the game plays like no other survival horror game out there and will feature no cheap scripted jump scare moments whatsoever. The gameplay is focused around you trying to survive with a big-ass alien trying to eat your bony ass on a spaceship. Alien Isolation is one of the first games that sparks new life and innovation into the genre. After having your first encounter with the alien, you will be terrified just by sensing his presence around you, never knowing when he will strike or where he might appear. But one big space lizard isn't your only concern. You will also have humans and androids turning against you, making the whole experience even more terrifying than it already is. But those are just my very own personal opinions about the game, and I shall return to you with more educated thoughts once I've had hands-on on the full game releasing October 7. And if you're looking for a more in-depth video about Alien Isolation, I suggest you go take a look at Spanji the Lion's video, as he has had the chance to play several hours of the campaign at Creative Assembly Studios. And as we approach the end of the show, I will leave you with a final statement from IGN saying, we're still waiting on our copy for Advanced Warfare. Well, that's it for the first episode of Debrief, guys, a brand new show that will hopefully flourish into something beautiful and special and successful on the channel. And I think by now you all have a pretty clear idea of what the show will contain, and if not, well let me lay it out for you. Debrief is a show where I will be covering gaming or tech-related news that matters to me, along with some unique segments where I share interesting games with you folks and share my first impressions on some of my favorite upcoming games. Anyways, thank you for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the very first episode of Debrief. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and let me know in the comments down below how excited are you guys for Battlefield Hardline. Let me know in the comments. This has been Dolce for Debrief, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.